So recently I got around to watching that new Marvel Sony collaboration. Venom, let there be... Garnish. I don't really know what I expected. I went into this movie with too high expectations, I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't say I hated the movie. I wouldn't say I loved it. But that's actually what I said about the first movie. Which, coincidentally, is literally this movie. It's almost like a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the first movie. Way to go, Sony. We're back here. Movies are coming out. Movies I want to see are coming out. I gotta get back to reviewing. My video last time did dog shit, so you know, I, I'm putting a pep in my step and I'm changing it, alright? Now as always, review, spoiler free. We're gonna talk about the movie itself and how I feel about it. So yeah, I do have my problems with this movie, but they mainly stem from two separate things. Actors and actresses that they casted in these movies, and Venom as a character. Unfortunately, Tom Hardy cannot pretend to be an American from San Francisco to save his life. The man's voice is too deep, and his accent is too fucking thick for him to pretend to do this shit. He came for no aliens in. Yes. He's just like mumbling the whole time, like like a drunken fool. And I get like that's supposed to be like semi insinuated because of the type of character he's going through and how his life is kind of shitty. It's like I can barely understand what he's saying. I'm not even gonna get started on Woody Harrelson. Yikes. And I also just don't like Venom's character in this movie. I don't know why they make a Venom movie without an actual Spider Man. And Venom's also like trying to be a hero in this movie. Like, Eddie literally says at one point in this movie, uh, we, we, we can go somewhere and we, we, we can pretend that we can, we can help people that, that need help and protection. And Venom's just like, oh, okay, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm down. No, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> just like, give me the actual scenes. Of where Venom is like going fucking crazy. Like this movie is PG-13 for all the wrong reasons. It's like I want to see Venom bite some motherfuckers' heads off, or rip them to pieces. Like let Venom be the let let the, this movie should have been called Venom. Let Venom be Venom <laughs> instead of Venom being a fucking hero. Venom's just like a dumb child in this movie. Like, he doesn't know what he wants, but it's like, he just wants to, like, he wants to kill people, but it's like, I don't want to kill good people. Uh, go, go to a prison. Let's kill some prisoners or something. Kill some bad guys. It's like, why? Why would Venom care? You know, like I said, it's like Venom's trying to be like a, like a really dumb child version of Spider-Man. Oh, wait. We already have one of those. Oh, just like within the first movie... The end battle scene is a fucking disaster. You can obviously tell that the two symbiotes fight each other. They're goo. Like, they're literal sludge. So, like, they just mesh together, and you don't know what the fuck is happening for most of it. I guess one of them won. I just don't like this movie. I don't like this series. You know, maybe it'll change going forward, but it's... It shouldn't have been like this from the beginning. Venom should be a constant chaos. That's kind of his point in the beginning of his role. It's just not Venom. It's not my Venom, alright? It's not my Venom. But I don't make movies, so I'm not here to make these decisions. It's to the good people at Sony. But I'll be honest, you like the first movie, you'll like this one. It's just the first movie turned up to 100. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to rate it. This is what I rated the first movie. No, I don't think I reviewed it. But I'm going to give Venom Let There Be Carnage a 4.3 out of 10. Okay, bye.